No buyouts of their property in time soon for neighbors forced out by the St. Cole and Assumption Parish. Yeah, they had to pack up and leave last August. And now Texas Brian is putting the blame on its insurance companies. News 2's Adrian Pittman is live in Bayou Court getting answers on why this buyout is on hold. Governor Jindal says Texas Ryan needs to get his act together or face some serious consequences. Now, it's been 55 days since Texas Ryan started the buyout process, but still no proposals for homeowners. That means Texas Ryan is 25 days behind schedule with offering those proposals. Today in a letter, Brian, the Ryan Company says it's ready to make proposals, but its insurance company is not ready to settle. As for the governor, he's not buying that excuse. It has become clear to me that Texas Ryan is simply trying to run out the clock. They're hiding behind their lawyers, their lobbyists, their insurance companies. Enough is enough. Now, Governor Jindal said he plans to review the permits for Texas Brine, and that company could face anywhere from litigation from the state to also being asked to remove from Louisiana. In Bayou Corn, Adrian Pittman, WBRZ, Balance News. Thank you, Adrian. There's our Williams report the governor is now ready to put Texas Brine out of business. People have been told day after day the buyout offers are coming tomorrow. Not one offer has been made. And that, the governor says, is completely unacceptable. Uh, I've been living in a camper trailer for nine months. Henry Welsh's story is similar to hundreds of other residents who used to call Bayou Corn home. You're mad as hell. Well, guess what? We are with you. It's been almost a year since the sinkhole started posing problems. It was last May when residents first noticed bubbling in the bayou. The sinkhole has since grown more than nine acres. Texas Brine is the company being blamed for it. Many residents asked the company to buy out their properties. Governor Jindal says on March 14th, Texas Brine finally promised to have properties inspected and make homeowners an offer within 30 to 45 days. Those first checks should have gone out last week, but now the governor says the payout on 66 properties is past due. And I can tell you from my perspective, after all is said and done, Texas Brine is bad business. Residents got a letter today saying Texas Brine would not be able to pay because their insurance carriers told them they are not prepared to support the payout process. Spokesman Sonny Cranch says they had previously been on board. I, why would they say no? Well, I... Unfortunately, I'm not privileged to that information. That's something that's uh, uh, being discussed between our attorneys and their attorneys. People are not just fed up. Some are in tears and tired of being given the runaround. The governor says he, too, has had enough of Texas Brine's excuses. He's issued an executive order to have all of Texas Brine's permits reviewed. In all, there are 15, from the sinkhole here to two other projects in Iberville and Lafouche parishes. If they don't have the wherewithal, if they don't have the flood, if they don't have the authority to make it right to keep their word to the people of Louisiana, then maybe they shouldn't have the ability to operate in the state of Louisiana. Tiana Williams, WAFB, 9 News. The governor says Texas Brian needs to honor its commitments. Whether Brian officials do it on their own or by legal action, the governor says it's up to them.